Hello, and welcome back to Spending Time in Papa's Barn. If you remember in an earlier video, I showed you how to make a front axle vent for a 2032R that actually had an inline fuel filter. Well, a buddy of mine watched it and wanted to know if I can make him one for his 2305. Well, when I did the research and I found out the 2305 had a different thread size than my 2032R. So I did some research. And I came out with a Dorman oil pan plug, which is 3 quarters 16. Now the part number I'm using is a 090008CD, Charles David. Exactly the, the thread we needed. Now I actually put an O-ring on it instead of the gasket it came with. And the gas O-ring I'm using is a, Do uh, a Danko. It's a part number 96732. It's a number 15 O-ring. And the actual valve that I'm going to use is a Dorman. It's a 1 8 national pipe thread. It's actually a part number 924262. Now what it's going to look like is going to sit in there like this. It's going to be nice and clean and easy. My buddy didn't like the hose on it. Again, I'm going to use a quarter 20 bolt as my dipstick for it. The tools I'm going to be using today is a, you can use a hand drill if you want to. I'm going to be using my drill press. I'm going to use a number six drill bit. That's for a quarter 20 tap. I'm going to use a number S drill bit. That's for the eighth inch pipe tap. And I'm going to use a smaller drill bit. I'll, I'll determine that here in a minute when I look at it, see how my flange is. To make the actual vent hole in it. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take a small scale and I'm going to go corner to corner on the hexes. Now what that's going to do, and draw me a line, is, is I'm going to find my center. I'm going to run it through all three sections. And I'll make, you know, a, a mark on each one of them. That gives me very close to my center. So I'm going to take my center punch and my little hammer and I'm going to find it where the all three lines intersect and I'm going to prick punch it. That gives me a starting point for my drill bit. Now before I move on to my drill press and the drill bit, let's talk about shop safety again. Now we don't want to wear gloves when we're running the rotating equipment just because you don't want to get injured. We, you're going to have shavings coming out, so be careful of the sharp edges. You want to wear safety glasses to keep the shavings out of your eyes. You probably will not need hearing protection for this part. So let me go ahead and set up my drill press, and I will uh, set you up, and you can watch me drill the holes. Okay, I'm at my drill press. I'm going to start with a number six drill bit. That's for my quarter 20. And I'm going to drill all the way through. Here we go. Let the drill bit find that prick punch mark, a center punch mark. You take your time. I might add just a little oil. Raise up on the spindle every once in a while to help break the shavings. Let the drill bit cut, don't force it. And you can actually do this with a hand drill. You 
know, one of my comments in my earlier video is a guy who said, uh, to tell you guys I got thousands of dollars in equipment, I do not. I mean, I have just what most of you guys probably have in your own garage. I'm going to switch over to the number S drill bit. Now, that's going to be for the 1 8 National Pipe Thread. Now, I may get a little chatter with this, and that's okay. Just take your time. Notice, I'm just eyeballing it. I'm not going down and measuring anything. I'm just going to eyeball it. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and take this out of my vise. And I'm going to go ahead and hand tap it for both sides. I'm going to make sure my pipe tap is deep enough in there that I can actually get into my land and land under drill that hole. Let me turn you off and let me tap, uh, go over and I'll set it up and tap it and you tap it and you can see it. Okay, I've set up my little vise here for demonstration purposes. I'm going to go ahead and first I'll start tapping the eighth inch pipe. I want to make sure it's deep enough that this little fitting will fit inside of it. I'm going to use a little different oil, a little super lube. Get just a little bit stirred on my tap. Go take a little pressure get it going. Want to make sure you nice and straight, straight as you can get it. And every once in a while back up to help break off the threads. I think I'm down to the bottom where I can see how deep I am. If I'm not deep enough, I'll go back to the drill press and I'll drill just a little bit more. Take some gum out and clean up the, the junk out of the bottom of it. Alright, I want to go down a little bit more. So I'm going to go back to the drill press and I'll be right back. All right, I went ahead and re-drilled a little deeper. I tapped a little deeper. You can see it's almost flush. That's fine. I just didn't want too much hanging out. Now, I went ahead and drilled and tap, or tapped the bottom of this. I took my bolt that I'm going to use for my dipstick. I went ahead and cut it off a little bit, and I deburred the edges. Now, if you don't have a welder, I'm going to suggest you leave it a little longer. You can put your nut under for a jam to jam it up and lock it in position. Like any project, when I first started, I took uh, David's old dipstick and I measured what the distance was from this face to the actual gauge line. Now the actual gauge line on this one was one inch and nine, uh, nine hundred thousandths. So I set my caliper for one inch and nine hundred thousand. Now this bolt is quite long compared to what I'm going to need. Now I'm actually going to make my mark on here. The second one was the overall length was 2.7. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm going to go ahead and cut this off and I'm going to deburr it. And I'll be right back. And what I'm going to do is then I'm going to go to the, the drill press and I'm going to put a little V file and I'm going to file a little groove in her, like I did in the other video. If you didn't see the other video, go back and look at it, and you'll see exactly how I did it. Be right. Okay, now for the most important part. I actually got to put a vent hole in here to allow the air from the front axle to be able to go through the differential vent here. So I'm going to sit this in my vise again. 
what I want to do, I want to cock it at an angle. So when I pick up that flange and I drill down, it's going to go at an angle in there. So I got a number 33 drill bit. And I'm going to pick up that little flange down there that I actually used. The difference between the, the number 6 drill bit and the number S drill bit. And I'm going to use that as my landing for my drill bit. So I'm going to get a position I like. I'm going to take my little center punch. And I'm going to catch that edge here. I'm going to get a place for my drill bit to start. And I'm going to tap a little mark in there. Alright, let's go ahead and start. Okay, I'm at the drill press. This is something you can take your time. I mean, you can break a drill bit real easy. So just slow, consistent feed, and just take your time. See how we go. Alright, I'm through. Let's see where it broke out at. Broke out right there. Alright, let me go ahead and I'll turn you off, clean up my mess, and we'll go over and start assembling it. So what do you think? That wasn't that bad. So let's go ahead and put the uh, differential vent on top. I'm just going to screw it in for right now. I'm going to place the O-ring on there. I'm going to add the dipstick. There you go. Now I actually got that little groove right here. I'm going to put some white paint in her to highlight it for my buddy. But I'm going to go ahead and spray paint the top of it. And I'm going to go ahead on this one. I'm going to put a little tack weld here to keep it from coming out. You can put a nut on there. But I'll take a, a picture of it here in a minute when it was completely painted and show you what it looks like finished. I can't show you putting the tractor because I don't have the tractor. He's out using it today. But thank you for stopping by uh, and spending some time in Papa's Barn. If you like this type of information and videos, please like and subscribe. Leave comments for me. Tell me things you'd like for me to look at and do for you. You know, it's uh, I enjoy this. You guys have a wonderful day.